It is time for this week in Shohei Otani news. Shohei keeps doing it. He keeps making history. He has passed Ichiro. What he's doing since the start of 2021 is absolutely unbelievable. And some big things to share with you at the end of this segment as well. But let's start with the history that he has been making and has continued to make over the last week. On Tuesday night last week, he got the win on the mound and hit a home run, which, again, is let's not overlook that. Didn't give up a single run on the mound, pitched six scoreless innings, and hit a home run for the first time, might I add, since the 1950s. That hasn't been done. Since 1972 is the exact year. 1972 is the last time that happened. The pitcher was Dave McNally. Six scoreless innings and hit a home run. Hasn't been done since then. Shohei did that. That's not even the history that I want to get to. Shohei Otani last week got his 10th win on the mound and became the only player in the history of baseball since Babe Ruth to have 10 wins on the mound and 10 or more home runs in a single season. It is just the two of them, by the way. So it is just Shohei Otani and Babe Ruth in yet again another category all by them lonesome selves. That's how good Shohei is and continues to be. And if you want to expand on that a little bit, there has never been a player in the history of baseball to have 10 or more wins in a season, 25 or more home runs, and 10 stolen bases in a single season. That is only Shohei Otani. In the long and storied history of this game, Shohei Otani is the only single player to ever do that. But I will just continue whenever possible to compare these two because it's literally his only comparison. You can literally only compare Shohei Otani to Babe Ruth, who many consider to be the greatest baseball player of all time. So Otani now has 119 career home runs and 379 career strikeouts. Just one of two players in MLB history to record 100-plus home runs and 250-plus career pitching strikeouts. Again, only him and Babe Ruth. I love these stats. I love it because you're literally comparing Shohei Otani to one of the greatest to ever do it. And there's so many stats that compare just the two of them. But on Tuesday, with his 10th win on the mound, Shohei entered himself into that category yet again. He also, over the past week, he hit a home run over the weekend, but he also hit a couple earlier in the week, which passed him. He was tied at the time with Ichiro for most home runs, the second most home runs by a Japanese-born player in the history of Major League Baseball. He has officially passed Ichiro's mark of 117. Now, it took Ichiro 17 seasons to hit 117 home runs. It took Shohei Otani five to pass that mark. He's now at 119. He trails only Hideki Matsui, who it took Hideki Matsui seven years to reach that 117 mark, might I add. But he's now just trailing Hideki Matsui, who had 175 home runs in his career. So Shohei Otani is on pace to pass every Japanese-born player in home runs by the year 2024. If he keeps going in this direction, he will pass Matsui and break that all-time record. He just continues, my friends, to make more and more and more history. If you're ever passing a guy named Ichiro in any category, you know you've done something pretty special. And if you're ever tying somebody named Babe Ruth in any category, then you really know you're one of the best baseball players to ever play baseball, period. It's really that simple. So what I want to do now is take a look back to and include last year. So because I've said this many times that the year and a half now – year and a half plus that we've seen of Shohei Otani is the greatest year and a half that we have ever seen in Major League Baseball. So since 2021 to now, this is the greatest stretch of baseball we have ever seen. So enjoy it, appreciate it, love it, admire it. Let me throw some numbers your way. Since 2021, 
Shohei Otani has 72 home runs. 72 home runs. 167 RBIs, 37 stolen bases, and 152 walks. Think about those numbers. And you know what I want you to do? Think about those from only a hitter's perspective. 72 home runs in less than two seasons, 167 RBIs, and 37 stolen bases. 242 hits total. That is unbelievable. Now let's look at this from a pitching side since the beginning of 2021. He's 19-9 and on the mound, which I would even like to throw wins and losses out of this because the team hasn't been very good. The fact that he is 19-9 and speaks volumes. 19-9, 241 in a third innings pitched, and guess what? His ERA is under three. A 2.95 ERA with 313 strikeouts in just 241 innings. This is the greatest stretch of baseball that we have ever seen in the history of this game. How can somebody say those two things together and somebody not think that this is the greatest player we've ever seen? Listen to this. Players with 25-plus home runs at the plate and 150-plus strikeouts on the mound in a season. 2022, Shohei Otani. 2021, Shohei Otani. And that is the end of the list. That's it. This is the greatest stretch of baseball ever in history. And that is why I continue to have this segment every single week and will continue to because I still don't believe he is appreciated enough. You know what? It, you know what's a big deal to me? The fact that Shohei is going out and pitching every about six days has been for two years now and is still going out and playing every day. Pitchers' recovery times are not the easiest task in the world. It is an adventure, and it is a full-time job to get ready for your next start. Shohei Otani is going out and playing offense every single day. Otani has played in 265 games since the start of 2021. The Angels have played only 276 games. And this year specifically, this year specifically, he has only missed three games. He's played in 112 of 115 days. The best players in the world that only play offense are missing more time than that just for maintenance or just a day off. Shohei Otani isn't taking days off, and he's also pitching every fifth or sixth day. That's why he's so clearly the MVP to me, guys. There's Yes, there's guys that are offensively having better years, even historic years, might I add. And I hope Aaron Judge goes on to break Roger Maris's record. I do. But it doesn't make him the MVP because of what Shohei is doing. We are all blessed to be on this planet while Shohei Otani is playing baseball, says Adam Rank. That's how I feel. He's playing every day, guys, and that's why he's the MVP, because he has an under-3 ERA and 72 home runs since the start of last year. The argument becomes, well, what, if Shohei just continues to do this every year, is he going to be the MVP? The answer is yes. And you know what? If Shohei goes out and has a 4.5 ERA and hits 22 home runs in a year, is he the MVP every year? No. But you better believe if he's going out with a sub-3 ERA and on pace to hit uh, between 30 and 40 home runs, he's the MVP and it's not even close. Stop the argument. Stop the count. This guy, if all goes as it should, which I'm not saying it will, there will be people that vote for Aaron Judge this year, and he very well could win, but he shouldn't. The most valuable player in baseball and the most valuable player that we have ever seen is Shohei Otani over the course of the last year and a half. I tweeted this the other day. Another game, another dominant Shohei Otani start. I feel like people don't appreciate the pitcher he is enough. If he was just pitching, 
this run would be remarkable. But because he does both, people go to, well, let me tell you why he's not the MVP. Stop it and appreciate it. And I know that's what I do. That's the nature of this segment, is I am here to appreciate the player that Shohei Otani is, the person that Shohei Otani is, and what he is doing for the game of baseball. But before I wrap up here, a couple of fun things to tell you. First and foremost, Shohei Otani, when I was in Iowa at the Field of Dreams, where dreams go to come true, my best friend Shohei Otani followed me on Instagram. That's right. We now follow each other. He only follows 120-something people, and I am now one of them. Pretty big deal. I looked at my phone. I was running back over to the Field of Dreams. I was, like, getting ready to do a live segment, and I looked down, and it just said, Shohei Otani started following you. And I looked down, and I was like, wow, cool. And then I was like, wait, wait a second. What? And it was just the coolest moment of all time. How cool is that? But a couple of other cool points here. And this is where I have some really big news to share with you guys. First and foremost, something really cool. For the majority of this year, for for most of this year, Flippin' Bats has been the number one podcast in all of Japan, which is something that has really meant a lot to me. It's really cool for me. It's really cool for this entire production team here at Fox Sports. And I don't take that lightly. That's really cool, and I it, it makes me happy because I it gives me an understanding that people appreciate how much I talk about Shohei and how how much I enjoy talking about him. Honestly, I give him the love that he deserves. So to be number one in Japan, the my entire podcast is the number one baseball podcast is really cool. And what I want to do now is announce my big news and. What's really cool here is on the heels of it still being the number one podcast all year is Flippin' Bats and myself are going to Japan. That's right. I'm going to Japan. I am leaving Thursday. And the goal here is to go over there to to see where it all began for Shohei, to go to where the town he lived in, to go to where he played high school ball, and, and really just to dive into the baseball culture in Japan. And I, I could not be looking forward to it more. This has been something that has been a long time coming. I wish I was able to get over there, and now I am. And that's a credit to, to everybody that listens, and it's a credit to Shohei for doing what Shohei does. And I know how much I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you, you all are ready for this. I, I'm still going to be bringing you podcasts. Every day, we're just going to be doing them from Japan, and I'm going to be bringing you all along the journey with me. So thank you all for listening uh, and being a huge fan of this segment this week in Otani News for making it the number one baseball podcast in all of Japan, and I hope to see you guys in Japan. I'm going over there in just a couple of days, and I will certainly keep you all posted where I'm going to be, how it's going, and I hope to see you all soon. But that does it. For this week in Shohei Otani news. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213 537 9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.